Hello all, this is Yojo, and a big special hello to Louisiana, because that is who I am addressing in this recording. Uh, Louisiana, as you know, not only the presidential election is coming up, but also the election for our um, senators and whatnot. And I want to put out a message to anybody that is planning on running for our head offices that um, please be the more upstanding kind of citizen, somebody that we can actually look up to and somebody that actually would well represent us instead of making us all look like backwood hicks like a lot of our more recent people have. Uh, Louisiana needs to be needs to start moving needs to move in the right direction now because I only speaking for myself on this part I'm tired of being in the state that's always the worst of everything and always you know on the bad list and the lowest of the low about things that you know nobody's perfect and everybody has their issues but we shouldn't be the lowest on the of the low on as much as we are which is pretty much everything if you've looked if you've been following statistics and whatnot over the past few years but you know of course not exactly everything because if we were that bad people probably wouldn't be able to live here because we would have absolutely no health care absolutely no school systems and etc etc but we could stand to run under a better function now for the past hundreds of hundreds of years pretty much ever since Louisiana got started as a colony from the French we haven't run on very good politics at first it was financial issues and then we became you know somewhere along down the road we became a state the United States and we just fuck up after fuck up after fuck up with corruption well mostly corruption being in our politics but we've still been better but it's like people are still stealing even when there's no money to steal so we need somebody that's actually going to put back into things instead of just taking away from it and taking out what we pretty much already don't have as it is because I've noticed our our not only our main streets but our our neighborhood streets are really fucked up and you know that's wear and tear on people's vehicles and of course our education well, that's pretty much been shot for a while now and Bobby Jindal's not helping our health care but we just voted on him so he won't be able to leave for another five four years but uh as far as uh congress and stuff goes the people that we have in there now I think have become complacent in the things that they can do and say to us because I the way I see it from this last election with our governor they don't have much competition what we need to give them is competition and first of all I would like to to say as the first Louisianian to say it I guess this year I don't know I haven't really been watching that I want better for my state I want us to become a place of equality for everyone based on ethnicity based on sexual orientation gender identity religion um the way people feel about things nobody I mean, as, as United States citizens nobody should be forced to do things that they don't have to do or that they don't even want to do for the sake of uh, someone else's opinion I should I should say because you know just because you don't think it's right as long as it's not hurting you you can mind your own fucking business and I'm not just saying that about things in relation to sexual orientation like I usually say I'm saying that about everything and um, of course we need to try to keep stay maintained on things that we already have like guns and we need to keep working on how we're going to make jobs around here which pretty much repairing these fucking roads would create some jobs and that should be one of our top priorities really because our roads have been messed up for a very long time and uh, I, according to some sources you can ask quote unquote any trucker and they would say that we have the worst roads and that's something that I'm I, I know I don't usually talk about stuff like that, which is kind of, I guess, out of character. But, you know, if pe you know, if, if you can ask a lot of different people the same question and they give you the same answer and the answer is not good in this case, that is a serious problem. And um, 
people and helping people keep their jobs like there's currently a thing in place in this thing that I'm going to be talking about issues on about workplace equality um and stuff like that and I also want to talk about in in later date um the what I forgot what they call it but it's when an employer can fire you for any or no reason something needs to be done about that because that is a very serious and heavy violation of workers rights but that's a different story for a different time uh, in the meantime everybody that's getting revved up to run for our state offices you need to know that we're much more aware and we're much more carefully observing things than we used to so you better stay on your good graces about it and I've, I'm gonna be the first one to call it out everybody in support of SOPA, PIPA, and any other form of internet censorship, they already don't have my vote. And anybody against equality doesn't have my vote, which means that pretty much the two people that are over over where I am, which would be David Vitter and Mary, they're pretty much already out because she supported SOPA and PIPA, and he is like all about prostitutes, but not about gays. So that's those two, and I would I really want to encourage other Louisianians to start speaking out about these types of things because I people have pretty much drilled it into our heads that it doesn't matter and if we don't like it we can move to Dallas but not everybody wants to move to Dallas not everybody can move to Dallas this is our state and we need to start taking care of it and taking responsibility for it just want to put that out there